What's up everybody? I am back with another video and as promised it is a video about what I use on my skin. Two weeks ago I filmed a video about what happened to my face and you can check that out. You can click right here and check that video out and it, it explains like everything. Um, my hormonal imbalance and just other things about you know my diet and just prayer and just all these different things um, that had happened to my face and what I did to heal it but right now in this video I want to talk about the topical things that I use because a lot of people were asking so here it is all right so the first things first um let's see let's see it's our night or day all right, nighttime. So at night, on days when I wear makeup, I like to um, wash my face off first. I take my makeup off with this. Um, this is the Derma E Hydrating Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid. And um, this stuff is, it's awesome. It, I just pump, you know, take, you know, a few pumps in my hand and while all my makeup is on, I take it and I just lather it all over my face. It takes all of my makeup off. No lie, I don't use makeup wipes. I just use this right here. It is a lifesaver um, when it comes to removing my makeup. And I also use it on days when I don't wear makeup. I like to use this as my first um, cleanser. Um, like kind of like to you know to take off moisturizer or just dirt from like throughout the day and then after that about um, three times out of the week um, at night I will wash my face with this my second cleanser this is the, the mirror at clarifying cleanser this is my like my best friend I've been using this cleanser for years and I use it along with my um, Clarisonic Mia and um, yeah, that's what I use it with and it gets the job done, okay? And then on other days throughout the week, I will use, now before I mention this, I'll just say I do not use this next product to bleach my skin. I use this next product only at night to get rid of the dark spots, okay? No bleaching here. I love my brown skin. Um, so this right here is the Koji Sand, I hope I'm saying it right, the Koji Sand Skin Lightening Soap. Not lightening my skin, I'm just lightening the dark marks. And this soap right here is, was this, it was, um, yeah, it has kojic acid in it, and kojic acid was discovered in Japan, and it really helps with, you know, getting rid of dark spots and hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone, acne, um, just a whole bunch of different things and within like maybe three weeks of using this I saw a major difference in my skin tone and like how some of the spots were lightening like yeah I, I love this I buy this off of Amazon and I'm gonna put the link in the description box below um, with um, the exact like distributor I guess that'll be yeah the, the distributor for um, where I get this soap from yeah it's awesome uh, Kojic soap is definitely um, a must-have if you have hyperpigmentation and acne scarring uh, dark marks and then oh and also I only use it at night only use this product at night Okay, so then after that, I will, at night, I moisturize with the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. It has salicylic acid in it, and it's amazing. You can buy it at any drugstore, and yeah, um, it doesn't break you out even more. It's very soft. Um, it helps with uh, skin texture, uh, blemishes, um, it evens your skin tone. Um, yeah that's it so okay so after I put the moisturizer on I probably wait maybe like an hour or so and then I will do my pure rosehip seed oil and on some nights I will just use the rosehip seed oil like by itself and uh, rosehip seed oil really helps with the dark marks and the hyperpigmentation when people say all natural products are like the way to go for like clearing acne, they are telling the truth because this stuff 
it works it really really works and then on some nights maybe um two nights or actually but three nights out of the week depending on how my skin feels and on the days when i don't use kojic acid soap i like to use the aztec secret indian healing clay this is um, bentonite clay and this stuff is this stuff is awesome um i like to um use it with apple cider vinegar so just these two products right here mix it in a non-metal bowl and use a non-metal tool to mix the two products together um, that is crucial do not use metal when you are dealing with this um, this mask please don't use metal um, I think it the clay draws out the like the the metal and then it'll get into the mask and that won't be good when you put it on your face you do it in like an upward motion to kind of like get it into the skin and um, I leave this mask on for about mm, 20 minutes and while the mask is on my face it um, you can feel it working it hurts it really really hurts and um, when you take the mask off uh, your face might be a little bit red, but it says that on the back of the of the of the little jar that your face will be red. So don't be alarmed if your face is red. So um, yeah, I yeah. So it like pulsates, like it's getting everything out of like your skin, everything that shouldn't be there, all the dirt, all the oil, um, the acne, the bumps, everything, and it works. It's amazing. Okay, now another mask that I like to use is. Um, my Manuka honey mask yeah this um, this mask is number one it's expensive <laughs> uh, for this little thing I think I paid like $16 for this little thing but a little bit goes a long way I bought this like six months ago I think yeah I think maybe six months ago and I still have some more left I still have like a month left of this stuff this um, this Manuka Honey Mask is awesome. It's for clearing acne. Um, it keeps your skin nice and soft and moisturized, and it's it's great. You can like Google other like things about this um, Manuka Honey. I use for this one. I use the K Factor 12, but I think the higher the number and the K Factor, the um, better it works. Um, I think that's the case. But yeah, so those are like some two masks that I love to use. They're awesome. They are just amazing. So another product that I love to use is aloe vera gel. And sometimes I use this to tone, but uh, most of the time I use it as a spot treatment. Um, alloy is very, very great for um, treating certain pimples. You can just dab aloe vera gel like on just a pimple and that pimple will probably disappear in maybe like two days depending on how small or how big it is um, it really really works it also helps with acne scarring and hyperpigmentation um, in the mornings I um, wash my face with the Derma E like I said before um, it's a great product so that's the only product that I use just a gentle cleanser in the morning and then after that I use my oil control moisturizer with SPF 30 in it and this is from um, Cetaphil um, it is very important especially if you have hyperpigmentation or if you're trying to get rid of dark marks to use SPF because if you don't the dark marks will get darker and the hyperpigmentation will get worse so um, it is very very crucial to use SPF um, and that's it very very simple I have started to learn that um, the the more simple your routine is the the better your skin will be um, and the more natural your products are as well the better your skin will feel murad is probably murad and like the two moisturizers are probably the only products that are um not as like 100 percent natural or even 90 percent natural but they work but the other products that i use are natural and they have been working they have been working faster than prescription products that i have used yeah so if you have any questions please comment down below like the video subscribe to my channel and i will also list um, where i got the products from in the description box as well so thank you so much for watching this video and yeah that's it
Bye.